Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. Today we are going to talk about downloadable movie services and why they are going to kick discs ass. Talking about Blu-ray and DVD, watch the clip and then we'll talk about the reasons. Okay, so what we're doing here is comparing uh, Apple TV playback, finding the movie, the whole nine yards, to loading a disc on the Blu-ray. I've already put the disc in. It should pop up in the menu on the Blu-ray in just a second. And I've got to find the movie on the iTunes store because, you know, that seems only fair. Probably going to have to pay it, buy, buy it. It's probably 15 bucks, something like that. Um, and we'll actually let it download while this is happening so that it's completely fair. You know, there's no kind of cheating and pre-queuing or anything like that. Okay, so the PlayStation 3 is thinking it's loading the disc. The iTunes store is saying, hey, uh, you've ordered this. Go back to browsing and hopefully buying more stuff. Uh, and, and what we're seeing on the PlayStation side now is the first of several loading bars. It's pretty exciting stuff. It'll pop up and down, come, come back and go away a few times before we're done. Okay, so the Apple TV, the movie has started playing. We're about 44 seconds from the home screen on the Apple TV to the actual opening credits. So that's pretty good. Same time, we're seeing the same thing on the Blu-ray player. So that, that seems promising, right? We're loading the disc. We're going to go straight into the movie. That's really exciting. But it turns out this is just the ad that runs for the movie studio at the beginning of the movie. I thought maybe I'd made a mistake and put the wrong disc in or something. So I, I went to menu, but, but we're back. It's still playing. No pauses happened. Okay, so we're going to swipe the, the Apple TV out of the way because the opening scenes are playing. We don't want the copyright police to come down on us. What we're seeing now is the Blu-ray disc is loading some, uh, well, <laughs> first off, it's loading an ad for the Blu-ray format. We're going to fast forward through that. I'd love to see ads for something I've already bought into and spent a lot of money on. Now it's an ad that it downloaded from the internet for a movie that's just coming out now. That's, that's great. I love paying $20 so I can watch some ads for movies about babies. Nope, another ad. This one features, seems, uh, Russell Crowe. Don't care about that. Fast forward. The nice thing about this disc is it actually does use the same button for fast forward on all the trailers. So, you know, you can just jam the button. You don't have to, you know, you can't use the menu to skip the trailers, but you also don't have to just hold down the fast forward button, which I have seen before on some DVDs, which is really bad. So by now I'm well into the first scene of the movie on the Apple TV. And I think the menu is about to load right now. That's what we're getting ready to see. But, I mean, does anybody really like menus at this point? Do you, do you not just want to kind of jump right into the movie and get to it? Do, you, do we need another venue for ads, like the thing in the top right corner? Okay, so now the FBI anti-piracy warning. I have never, ever seen one of those on an Amazon or Apple or any other kind of download. I think we all know that copyright infringement is illegal and will net us five years in jail or $250,000. This is the coward disclaimer that says the things that people say in the commentary is not what Universal Studios believes. I, I don't care. What does this do for me? And it, finally, it's the rating. So kids, if there's anybody here that's under 17, there's going to be naughty violence and language. Now, this is the best one. This says, hey, the stuff that we sold you that's awesome, the, the internet connected stuff, that probably won't work at some point in the future. We don't want to pay for it anymore. So uh, that's awesome. And in three minutes and seven seconds, we finally see the opening, uh, the, the studio identifier thing. I don't even know what this is called, but it's an ad for Universal at the start of the movie. Uh, I'm disgusted. That's it. Okay, so 44 seconds from menu to watching a movie on Apple TV versus like three minutes and change on the Blu-ray. And you have to watch all those ads. I mean, that's not cool. I don't like that. Let's talk about why that happened in the article, you know, down below. And uh, let me know what you think, whether you prefer watching movies on iTunes, Amazon, downloadable services, or buying discs. Thanks for watching. I'm Will.